Hello friends, welcome to my channel Nikira Takis. In this video, let me explain server-side rendering in Angular. We can start from what is server-side rendering and its advantages and how to add server-side rendering in the existing application. Finally, we can see how to run and make a build for this SSR. Okay, first we can start from what is SSR. So SSR is nothing but on server-side rendering. This is the new feature introduced in Angular 17. So the main focus is for improving the performance and also supporting for the SEO. So in modern web development, delivering fast and SEO friendly experience is too crucial. By using this server side rendering, we can achieve pre-rendering web pages on the server before sending them to the client. Okay. So next we can see the advantages. So the first one is improved performance. SSR can improve the performance of your publications by delivering fully rendered HTML to the client, which the browser can parse and display even before it downloads the application JavaScript. And this can be especially beneficial for users on low bandwidth connections or mobile devices. And the second one is better SEO. SSR can improve the search engine optimization of the web application by making it easier for search engine to crawl and index the content of the application. So next we can see how to add SSR in our application. So next we can see how to add SSR in our application. So basically we have a two ways. One is by creating the application itself we can enable this SSR. Otherwise we can add it manually. I will explain both. First, let me create one application in GNU SSR example. This is a normal command, and I am using the Angular 17. Okay. First, it's asking the CSS. And see, it is asking, do you want to enable server side rendering and a static site generation? So now, let me give in only. Okay. So we can add it manually. Book app is created. Let me open in the Visual Studio Code. Okay, it's our normal application. Uh, let me run this application also. Okay. Okay, and this is our basic application. So now if I go to this view page source, you can see we have a very basic content, the initial time load. Okay. So we all know this is the app root. From this app route only, all of our HTML contents are loaded based on our route. Okay. So, but if you come to this SSR, it's completely different. So, let me show you. First, we can stop this one. And for enabling this SSR, I'm executing one command ng add at angular slash SSR. Okay. Okay. The installation is completed and also it's affected some of the files. We have uh, eight changes. First, we can start from this angular.json. See, so in this script section, the server is included. The file is main.server.ts, and the pre render is true, and the SSR entry is server.ts. We can skip this package.log.json, and then package.json. We can see some of the new commands. Okay. So previously we had this uh, start to build a watch. So additionally we have this serve with the SSR. And the package point of view, this Angular platform server and this Angular SSR express, these are the packages are additionally included. And the dependency point of view type express and node, these items are included, okay. And then this server.ts, this is the new file. By using this file only, the server render is happening. This is the entry point for our server side rendering. So, next in our uh, ts config side, so in this files point of view, I included two files. Okay. So this main.server.ts and another one is the server.ts. So, next in our main.server.ts, again, this is one of the new file. From this file only, the application is bootstrapped. Next, app.config.server.ts. Again, this is the config file for, for the server side rendering. And the finally, in our app config section, included this provide client hydration. 
So these are the changes are uh, included. Now let me run this one. We can use the same command only, okay. So if you are checking in the output, all are uh, same only. But if you go to this page source, you can see the difference. From the initial load itself, the pre-rendering is happened. So if you check in the normal rendering, it's just empty declaration only. Okay, the pre-rendering is not happened. This is the way we can identify whether it's running through the SSR or not. Okay. So next, let me create the build. So you can use the same uh, command only. Okay, the build is completed. So now if you are checking in this uh, dist folder, we can see one uh, new folder, it's a server. So previously we can see this uh, browser only. It's a normal build, okay. So next in our server side, see we have some chunk JS files. And then this index.server.html and this server files. So the deployment find of you, there is no change. So anyway, we have a build files. And if you need SSR enabled one, we can use this server folder. Otherwise, we can go with the server, okay? So now we are in the end of the video. Still, if you have any doubts or clarification, please post in the comment box. And also, please don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thank you. Thanks for watching.